guys. I wanted to come on here and talk about the primers in my collection for my Let's, Let's Talk Tuesday. I missed last week, so I wanted to do it for this week. Um, I don't have a lot of primers, but I'm going to uh, include some eyeshadow-based primers um, in my collection so that I can tell you the ones that I have. Um, the first one that I have is a face primer. It's the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. It's just a silicone based primer. I do like this one. Um, it kind of reminds me of my Mary Kay uh, primer, which I am still trying to finish up. I have a whole other one of these, but tell me what, guys, this is a really good primer and it's lasted me a long time. But um, this is just a silicone based primer. It's a broad, broad spectrum SPF 15. That's one of the reasons I do like it. But yeah, this is just one of those silicone based primers. And then another kind of photo finish foundation primer is the um, Snatchbox one. We got this in our Ipsy bag. I didn't do my Ipsy ba unbagging because I, before I could um, film or film it, I had switched stuff with my sister-in-law because we get this, we get Ipsy together, but we always like see each other's bag. And if we don't like something, we'll trade. So she didn't want this photo or the photo finish primer. And I had something she liked, so I switched with her. So I have two of these, actually, which is fine. I love primer, and I love the silicone-based primer, so I'm fine with that. And then I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in the Pore Minimizer. And I do like this. This is just like a... It's just the Pore Minimizer. It's good, too. I like that one. And then this one is the Rimmel London Fix Perfect uh, Primer Smooth Skin Minimizes Pores. Um, this one's alright. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. I prefer kind of the silicone based primers. And then this is a uh, Mika, Mika Beauty Cosmetics uh, Eyelid Primer. This is kind of dry. I'm not really sure how much I like about this. It's kind of a, it's in a pot and it's supposed to, I think it's like, you know, the Urban, not the Urban Decay, the MAC uh, paint pot kind of thing. But I've, I've heard a lot of people say, I mean, it's made in the USA. That's kind of cool, but it's just very dry. I mean, when you put your finger in, it's not, there's no creaminess to it. I mean, it, it just, no. I don't like this one. I mean, I've kept it in case I needed it, but I don't like it. And then you have, I have the NYX eyeshadow base in white. It's in, well, milk. It's in the, yeah, it's just in white. Um, this is creamier than the, um, yeah, this one's creamier. I like this one better than the Mika Beauty one. Mika Beauty, whatever. And then my very much loved eyeshadow primer. And I talked about my Wet n Wild one in another video. Pfft, I don't like that one. But this is the Urban Decay. Of course, a cult favorite. This is just the original. And then I have it in Greed, too. Um, and in Greed, I usually use it as a highlighter or as to what it has glitter in it. So um, it's not your typical eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer. Unless you like glitter and all your eyeshadow looks, then you might like this. I do like it. It's just not my favorite. My favorite is the Urban Decay. Um... I just wanted to show you that with y'all real quick, guys, and I'm sorry I haven't been making a lot of videos, so I'm trying to record as many as I can. So you might see me in the same outfit. Um, I just did do my makeup, so um, you might see me wearing the same stuff. So thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!